Hey everybody, happy Labor Day weekend. Hope you're having a good weekend out there. I'm a little gimped up, burnt my foot. Um, so the amazing thing that happens when you have um, a limited ability to do the big things, you focus on doing some of the little things. This is something I've had in the cooker for a while, um, ever since we uh, engaged in cutting some of our four paintings up to do collage. Check out our collaging um, videos. But this is pretty simple. I have a, a pour painting here, really a nice pour painting. The problem is, is we have a hole in it. So um, it's, a, it's a painting that's going to get cut up for collage anyway. So what I would do is I would go ahead and take my razor knife and cut the pour painting off of the panel really quickly and easily just following the inside lines of the, um, of the frame that's there. Um, so then once you have it like this, you spend a little time pulling um, the material off. And once you pull the material off, you now have a really nice, clean, looking um, frame. Um, you, sometimes you'll get a little raggedy pieces of the canvas left here. And if you have any of the staples that are pulling out, you should go ahead and pull them out. But otherwise, don't worry about it too much. Um, you know, clean up their little bits of cloth. But once you've done that, pick a house paint. We used um, any paint you want. You could use the paint that you pour painted with before it gets diluted. I picked a really nice um, black that we use for our interior for our house. It's a really good um, primer and paint combination, so it really covers quickly and you don't have to like multiple coat it, because there's a little bit of time in painting these to make sure that everything looks good. So once you've um, painted the frame, you don't have to worry about that spot in the back, because that's just going to go up against the canvas. Um, then you're going to go ahead and... I um, happen to have a uh, nail gun. This one is a 16 gauge. You could use an 18 gauge. You could use a stapler. Or you could just use finished nails and finish nail it in yourself. Um, so you just go ahead and put this on here. Make sure that you line it up as nice as you can. Sometimes they get a little distorted, so sometimes you have to work it a little bit and, and pick the right one. And then once you've done that and you've nailed it down, of course you'll go ahead and paint the sides. Um, with the same paint, so you take the paint and paint the canvases, the canvas side that you've attached to. You're going to want to use one inch nails. Uh, they're perfect. They don't go all the way through, but they adhere really good. Um, and then you'll go back and you know dab the little um, spots where your nails were. And in the end, you've taken just a normal pour painting. These are 16 by 20. These are 16 by 20s, and and you wind up with a framed product. And of course, you know you can install the hanger on the back, and then it really upsells your um, work. And you're looking at a two dollar frame here, literally a two dollar frame. Uh, it's a faux frame, but it really does still give the effect of it. And we're upcycling, recycling from what we did earlier, cutting the um, other canvases off so that we could use them in other projects that stay tuned. So I hope you're having a great weekend and I just wanted to share that little uh, upscale, upsell your poor painting hack, the two buck frame. Have a good night.